Hello and welcome. My name is Liz Karen Scott and I welcome you all to Liz Karen's Faith Journey. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the power of effective prayer. If you are a new believer and you watched my video on salvation and you also watched the one on the eight things that the word of God can do for you, then this is a build up. I'm just trying to make it into like a mini series to help you in your faith and to help you grow in Christ Jesus. So please journey along with me and um, let's talk about the power of effective prayer. First of all, what is prayer? Prayer is essentially our tool of communication with God. By communication, I mean that it is a two-way communication, which means that you're not, you're not just reciting a monologue to God, telling him about your needs, your wants, your petitions, but you are essentially uh, waiting to hear back from him as well. You are essentially waiting to hear what he has to say about your life. He's giving you instructions and you are ready to obey them because the faith equation is not complete without your obedience. The word of God says that in the book of James 5, 16, the effective fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. And the word effective, just underline effective. By effective, it means that you have to pray with the will of God in mind. And what is the will of God? The will of God is expressed in his word. Because in the book of Psalm 138.2, the Bible says that God has exalted his word even above his holy name, which means that when we pray with, with scripture, we are speaking the very words of God himself. So I just want to talk about um, something that I used to do because uh, if you haven't noticed, I named this channel uh, Liz Current's Faith Journey because I'm going to be adding in a little bit of my stories, the struggles that I've had and how God helped me overcome them in the hope that by sharing some of my stories, they may somehow help you to overcome your own struggles that you are having. And so um, growing up, um, like I said in the first video that we weren't really Christian people, so we didn't really know like how to pray in the right way that we were supposed to. And even after I born again, for a long time, I didn't even know like how to pray correctly. So most of my prayers were essentially lamentations. <laughs> so I could come into the presence of God and lament and come out of uh, prayer, prayer, thinking that I've told uh, God, oh, that's in my mind, oh, that's in my heart, and I'm ready to be answered. And I saw absolutely nothing changing. <laughs> the reason being that... Um, the devil has no respect really for emotions, for tears. Uh, the, kingdom the kingdom of darkness has no respect for emotions, for tears, for whatever it is that you're going through. They only respect and obey the word of God. And so for me, uh, when I started praying with the word of God, that's when I began to see change in my life. You know, like essentially when I wasn't feeling when I was sick, uh, it is more effective for me to say by the stripes of Jesus, I am healed. The son of righteousness has already risen with the healing in his wings for me. And then I would begin to see change. But when I prayed, uh, just saying, God, heal me. I've been sick since I was a child. Do you not see that I'm still sick until now? Absolutely nothing happened because that is no way in scripture. <laughs> that is no way in scripture that people should just sit down and lament about what they're going through. But you know, when I spoke from a place of uh, what God has said and reminded him of his own word, then things would begin to change. Because he does say in his word that we should bring forth our strong reasons. And our strong reasons can only be brought about by reminding God of his word, what he has said. So no matter what your situation is, find the relevant scriptures um, that are according to your situation and say them back to God. That God, you said in your word that I am rich and I'm not poor. You said in your way that you shall supply all of my needs according to your riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Father, you said in your word that you sent your word and healed us and delivered us from our destructions. Now you are praying. You are not just lamenting. You may even be in tears and you may be crying your heart out. But when you are praying and you are saying this with scripture, 
then the realm of the spirit respects that and your answers will come quickly. God will respond to his word and you will begin to see changes in your life. So what is the situation that you are faced with today? Because the Bible encourages us to pray without ceasing. To pray without ceasing is not to pray the whole day 24-7. You are not doing anything else. You're just now praying. But to be in a constant attitude of prayer. And you can do this also using like worship songs, using praise and all of that. But when you come into the place of prayer, you've got to know how to remind God of his word. You've got to know how to take God. God at his word and say, God, this is what I'm, um, this is, this is what I'm going through, but this is what your word says. And these things are not tarring together. So Lord, I'm here to remind you of your word. If you don't have a child and it's a child that you are believing for from God, you can remind him that you said none shall be barren in our land. You said none shall suffer miscarriages. If you have one child and you're believing God for a second child, you can remind him that you said our children shall surround our table like olives. One one child cannot surround the table. Lord, I need another child. And then he will begin to respond to you. If um, if it's a work situation uh, or it's a better job that you are believing God for, you can remind him that, God, you say that your favor surrounds me like a shield. So no matter where I am, I'm expecting your favor in the workplace. You say that gentle shall come to my rising. So I'm expecting people to bring me blessings even in this week, even in this month, even in this year. So no matter what situation it is that you are really bringing before God in prayer, you can trust that when you pray with his word, God will respond to you quickly because you are praying according to his will. So today, whether it's healing that you're believing God for, whether it's a child that you're believing God for, or deliverance, or anything at all that you are believing God for, you can go into the word. Uh, Google has made it so much easier for us today that you can just type in and Google the scriptures that apply to your situation, like 15 scriptures about healing or like 10 scriptures about healing, then with the help of the Holy Spirit, through prayer, you can um, you can catch the two or three scriptures that apply to you most, that are that like resonate with your spirit. And you can just pray, start praying with those until you see your situation change. I hope you've enjoyed this video and it has helped you somehow to start praying effectively. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.